Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha, for those of you who are new here, aka Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto. Welcome or welcome back. We're going to get into another test style video. This is going to be for the Beyond Meats companies, Beyond Burger. I was very curious about this and had to give it a try for you guys. I'm going to give you guys macros based on the way I put together my Beyond Burger. Of course, you guys can feel free to do calculations if you add something different. By the way, go ahead and make sure to subscribe, like, and share. If you do like the video, it really helps the channel. I recall seeing or reading somewhere that you're not supposed to freeze these patties, so I just refrigerated them when I brought them home from Whole Foods. Also, I was pretty impressed with the macros, only one net carb per patty, and they're also soy free. The patties I snagged are the Beyond Burger 2.0. The pre-made burgers come in a two pack for about $5.99. I noticed some people that did reviews of the Beyond Burger patties mentioned a smell coming off of the patties that was very distinct. I didn't really get that from these. The patties smell pretty fresh and just kind of neutral. I would definitely say that the patties themselves look handle and move just pretty much like authentic beef meat. Here's a good close-up look at the patties. After examining the patty for a bit, I went ahead and got to seasoning the patties and ended up seasoning them overnight. So I went ahead and seasoned the plant-based patties with some Redmond's Real Salt. Flavor God Garlic Clever Seasoning. Onion Powder. Sprinkling of Black Pepper. Then you of course want to flip the patties and season the other side. And just go ahead and repeat your seasoning process. And set the patties aside to let them marinate and set up for a bit. And then I'm going to make a keto bun that'll work for the burgers. I'll add the exact measurements for the keto bun. I kind of just did this one freehand. I'll add that down in the description box below. I went ahead and sifted together the almond flour, xanthan gum, and baking powder, as well as baking soda, and then continued to add all the other dry ingredients to a bowl. I added about a quarter teaspoon of real salt to the dry mix. I then added two teaspoons of baking powder to the dry mix. I also added a half a teaspoon of baking soda to the dry mix. I then just gave the dry ingredients a good mix to make sure they're all equally combined. Once I had all the dry ingredients well combined, I start to add in the wet ingredients. Some egg whites, apple cider vinegar. Then just give all the ingredients a good stir until you start to see a dough forming. I intended to test one burger with the bun for the video and for you guys, but then I also wanted my son to get to try the patties, and he doesn't like burgers with buns, he just don't want it bunless, so I just made this into one huge burger bun. Next I just spritzed a parchment lined pan with a little cooking spray and formed out the burger bun right there, and then next I'm going to top it with sesame seeds, and then get it in the oven, 350 degrees, approximately 15 minutes. I warm my nonstick skillet over a medium high heat, gave it a good spritz with the olive oil nonstick cooking spray, and then started cooking the Beyond Burgers once I felt that the pan was hot enough. So I just go ahead and sear the burgers equally on both sides. 
So here's a look at the plain seared Beyond Meat patty. And here's a shot of the inside of the patty. Once it's been seared, it looks pretty much like beef. I then added the 365 plant-based cheddar cheese to one of the burgers. Make one a cheeseburger and then leave one plain for my son. Also, once I add that cheese to that burger, I'm going to go ahead and drop a few ice cubes in there and then cover it so it'll steam and help the cheese melt. It works with dairy cheese. Let's see if it works with this one. I'd have to say that I thought the cheese melted beautifully. It really held up to all the promises it was making on the packaging and it is the real MVP of this whole tutorial. I could have eaten that with just like the lettuce, tomatoes and not the Beyond Burger, but that's just me. I went ahead and brushed a little bit of buttery coconut oil in a cast iron pan and just toasted my buns. Then it was time to assemble the Beyond Meat Keto Burger, put it to the test, see if it's worth all the hype, my thoughts, and how it turned out. I went ahead and slathered some Hellman's mayonnaise on my toasted buns. If you guys wanted to make it a completely vegan meal, you could go ahead and use something like Veganais. There are a lot of options now at Whole Foods and maybe even Trader Joe's, so just keep an eye out if that's something that interests you. I then had to add some of my favorite pickles, my Bubby's Kosher Pickles, along with some red onions and iceberg lettuce. You can use butter lettuce too or whatever you prefer, along with some delicious tomatoes to add a little acidity to the whole sandwich. Ultimately, the Beyond Burger and other options like the Impossible Burger that it seems you can only get in restaurants may be good options if you want to do meatless keto, if you're vegetarian or vegan. But for me personally, if I have an option between this and in particular, or let's say grass-fed and grass-finished high-quality beef, I'm going to still go with the high-quality beef. Whether you decide to dive into the plant-based burger side of things and keto, or you want to stick with grass-fed beef, or do something that's a hybrid, everything in between, I hope this video was valuable in some way to you, and happy ketoing! Have a great day!